Hi everybody, it's Rabbit here for Unbreakable Gamers. Um, today I am going to be creating a series of short videos just covering the basics of StarMate and how to get it, how to download and install it and from there on it will just cover the basics of actual gameplay. Um, we're going to start here with how to download and install it. StarMate at the moment is currently available free either via the website or via its Steam page. Uh, on the Steam page it's listed as a demo but for all intents and purposes, the game is fully functioning while it's in the alpha early access uh, stage. So you can get it and play it as if you have purchased it. If you like the game, I do suggest buying it though to support the developers. Uh, what you'll need to do is go to starmade.org download or star-made.org forward slash download. Uh, as you can see, uh, you click the I've read the terms of the agreement, then click download for whatever one you want. I'll get into the beta launcher at another point. This will just get you up and running. Uh, once it's downloaded, um, go to where the file is and click Start StarMade. Starter exe. You know the file that you just downloaded. Click that. <laughs> okay, then what will happen is you will get this here. Uh, the actual launcher. You've got various options. You've got the memory settings. Now this is very important here. Um, as you can see, this is already set up with for an 8 gigabyte system. Um, if for 8 gigabytes you will need to download a 64-bit Java, uh, which you can get from java.com. Uh, if you try to increase the memory settings without 64-bit Java, the game will crash on you and you'll have all sorts of problems. But I found the memory settings I have here are optimal for an 8 gigabyte system We're running a 64-bit version of Windows. And it even tells you here, please keep in mind that 32-bit OS have a limit of allocating memory. So, yeah. Um, but rule of thumb is maximal memory, don't exceed more than half of your system um, memory. Then you click OK, and then you'll see update and install latest version. You click that, and StarMade will get up and running. And we shall jump cut to once it's installed. And welcome back uh, to the video. As you can see, we've now got it installed. Um, the game will tell you down here what version you have, if it's all green then you've got the latest version it gets updated about once every two weeks up here you'll have news about the most recent changes um, once you've got your memory settings set up uh, just click start game take a few seconds to get up and running now you'll be brought up with this screen here this is the initial uh, settings uh, Give yourself a game name up there. If you were the StarMade registry, uh, if you want to play online, some servers will require this. So you go to the StarMade registry, you know, I'll let you Google that, make an account, then you enter in your username, password there, uh, click save, log on, hit OK, and then that name will be, when you connect to a server, that'll lock your name in so nobody else can use it. Um, and as I said, some servers will need you to do it. Uh, we'll start with sandbox mode here, that's single player. Uh, here's various options. You've got these settings here. If you have full screen on, it'll obviously be full screen. Um, but there is an advanced option up here, show advanced settings, which brings up a lot more options. Obviously, resolution, you want that to be the same size as your monitor or less. Uh, I don't recommend anti-aliasing. Uh, I don't know what it's like with AMD cards, but enabling that on NVIDIA seems to cause some really weird wavy line effects on your textures. Most of these are fairly straightforward, just in case if you don't know what they do, leave them alone. Um, the one here I prefer is Borderless Window. This will give you a full screen game, but you'll be able to move your mouse off the screen. It stops your mouse from being locked to the game. Um, frame rate cap there if you wish it, if you're not using VC. Um, and this is like the draw distance, but it's actually the amount of blocks that'll be rendered on screen, um, as you can see. I've got it set up to 200,000, but I've got a 4 gigabyte GDX 970 um, if you've got an Intel HD graphics I'd suggest yeah, starting off a lower setting and then working your way up until you start getting performance issues and then dial it down uh, lighting quality, better quality lighting obviously lower number, better performance, uh, but a higher number uh, better graphics and you'll find that with a lot um, of the options is obviously lower gives you better performance, higher so you can go through and mess with those. I prefer to have a field vision at 90. Um, you've got simple dynamic lighting. You can turn that off, if, uh, turn that on for better performance. Um, I recommend having shadows here turned off. 
um, because they look like ass. The game will naturally light everything anyway. Um, but if you do have the shadows on, then again, you've got quality settings there. But once you've messed around and got the settings where you want them to be, um, just go down here to click OK. We just make sure that we have tutorials enabled. This is important if you're playing for the first time. Make sure tutorials are on. And then click OK. This will start up the game in single player for you. And if you see this, then everything is going OK. Uh, if you have any error messages and you've done something wrong, more than likely assign more memory than the game or your computer can handle. And that's what we've come up with. You hit spawn. And now this is what the tutorial screen will be. Ignore all the green blocks. That's a project I'm working on. Um, click next. It'll ask you if you want to do the tutorial. Click next. And then next. And now we're teleported to the tutorial area. Which as you can see is this station here. And it'll go through how to play the game give you the very basics and I really suggest if you have never played Star Mate again now the buttons on your screen will be different I'm left handed so I use the numpad under my right hand so my keys are different um, so you, yeah you go through there you can talk to the, the NPC and it'll tell you certain things and commands so yeah play through here so that's just like the gravity block and things but yeah this will show you the very basics of the game how the systems work and it's really suggested that you do it and that's how you get started uh, in the next video I will probably go into more depth about some of the systems in the game and how they work how to link things to get like you know how to build a basic cannon or missile system salvage beams and stuff like that but for the time being this should help you get up and running in the game um, I'll exit out now when you exit the tutorial we spawn back into the regular game. Uh, I was just making a shortcut obviously on your desktop to get to that uh, the starter. And now if you want to join an online game, this is going to be very important here, uh, you make sure this button here is checked and that's a drop down of servers you're on but obviously localhost is your own computer, don't select that. Uh, you want to do the server list here. Now you get a bunch of numbers here called ping, click those and the lowest will go up the top. Now the lower a ping the better, that's the closer to you are to your server. Um, for this example we will select the, um, the main server I play on, craft.au. You'll see how many players are on a particular server, um, how many you can have, maybe basic information here. Um, but yeah, you know, once you start getting up to here you should be fine under 250 usually but once you start getting up over 250 you'll get performance problems if you I'd say for example try and play with a ping of 2500 there yeah uh, the game is going to be laggy and unplayable so pick a nice low when it comes to ping lower is better then you click connect and you're off and running another quick cut jump here um, I just realised as well because my character is established on the server, um, I'll make a new character now because I'm already signed into the uplink um, to the starmade.org. Any name I put in here, I don't have to re-enter my registry details. So it'll just add it to my account as a name registered to me. Uh, I'll do this to say we start at the spawn point and you can see everything properly. So we'll try that again. But as you can see now, because I've joined that server, it's now here in the list as the last one I've played. Any servers that you play on will come up show here with the drop down. So let's start again. Oops. That's right, no spaces. And here we go again. I'm currently playing on an i5 3570k processor, 8 gig of DDR3 and a GTX 970. So that'll give you an idea of performance. Um, the uploading here is a player skin, um, 
any players that have a player skin on the server, it'll upload it. And yeah, it'll give you the option for the tutorial. If you leave the tutorial button checked, um, so when you start the game, go into your options after you've done the tutorial and uncheck the, or turn the tutorial off. Uh, right, and then you will spawn here at a shop. This is called an advanced shop. You can tell by the glass um, area and the fact it's got the guy there with the purple marker on him here's a shop key. These other guys here are admins, uh, not admins, uh, uh, NPC players which are currently not working in the game so you, they, you just waste your money by purchasing them. Like you click on the, this guy here, you can hire a crew, you, know, um, you can buy replacement helmets, you, know, you can buy personal weapons like rocket launchers, sniper rifles and support tools like a um, flashlight, transporter beacon, marker beams and such with their prices listed there. Now what we've got here is basically the default setup. You start with a bunch of blocks, resources and things. You can drag those down to your block to assign them. Like marker beam, laser. Um, and then yeah, you scroll your mouse wheel and there you go. You've now got your weapon selected. Oops. Um, being a spawn point, as you can see, you get a message up, the sector is protected, so you don't have to worry about other players attacking you while you're in game. And yeah, I'm on the Craft AU server there with its pretty billboard. But yeah, these blocks are like, you know, great standard armour and things, and you'll put them together to make ships, but I'll go into that in another video. Uh, some servers will provide you, you've got a, well, you've got a logbook here, that's um, basically just type in notes there if we ditch it. Or some ships, or some servers will actually start you with a starter ship. Um, you can see this one's ready to go. They get that, your blueprint, right click, info, click spawn, give your ship a name. And there you go, ship spawned in. And that is how you get uh, StarMate installed, single player loaded and multiplayer. I hope you find this video helpful and I shall post some more videos of spawning ships in how to start building, build, advanced build mode and the rest. So yeah, watch the channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.